oh babe i can't just stop thinking about you just hold that unexpectedly you know let me tell you one little secret women like it when you're a little bit aggressive with them it doesn't matter if she's 90 years or if she's 18 years let's talk about those things that women want in bed but are too afraid to ask at the end of this video you would have learned skills that would help you have a better sexual experience with your wife and generally have a better marriage without further ado let's get started number one foreplay i know you must have heard this before yeah yeah this is not the first time but how tight is your foreplay game come on women are not like men it takes us a little bit of time to get there right i understand sometimes you just want it like you know hot hot you know get time for others but sometimes if you really want to have a very enjoyable experience you have to like do the foreplay you know the touching all of that so that you would enable her enough time to get to that point with you and foreplay doesn't necessarily have to begin from the bedroom i mean you can have foreplay all throughout the day now don't get me wrong i'm not saying you should not go to work she just stay at home and be you know but while she's away at work or maybe away in the shop in the market or wherever you can send her a test like oh baby i can't wait to see you or like oh babe i can't just stop thinking about you but this out of sight foreplay is more effective when there is no any kind of buzz buzz going on you know what i mean now maybe she's not talking to you or maybe you're having a quarrel or you're fighting over something then you need to fix that and when you guys are good like everything is good then of course this out of sight foreplay will be more effective Trust me, it will enable her to have a more better sexual experience with you and you stop hearing no or maybe I'm tired or maybe this or maybe that because already you don't they warm the engine, you know, for people who appreciate gifts, sending a gift like a flower or maybe just randomly sending her like even if it's just a box of small chops, it's very effective. Okay, but then all of these things I'm saying depends on you knowing her love language. That is why it's very important to know her love language. Every woman has a combination of love languages. So when you understand what her love languages are, then you'll be able to capitalize on that. And it will help you with your foreplay game and, of course, the general experience in the other room, right? <laughs> Number two, spice up things a little bit. Bros, change style. It's not every day you be doing, you know, every time, man on top, man on top. Ah, kilo day. You know, sometimes, you know, just hold that unexpectedly. You know, let me tell you one little secret. Women like it when you're a little bit aggressive with them. I'm not saying bashing her out or all of this crazy stuff, but, you know, you're a man and there's this manly strength you have and women actually most women let me speak for most women they enjoy it just grab by you know that grab tight <laughs> is effective so spice up things a little bit this experience when it's very enjoyable for the two of you it's going to tremendously change the face of your relationship your wife is happy now you are also going to be happier because you're going to bring out the talent in her. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. I know sometimes you just want to go straight to the point and you don't really, you're not in the mood for all of those side side things. And I also know that you're enjoying this video. So give it a like, subscribe. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> now let's continue. Number three, body touch. Ah, this one is very important too because it's something I've come to realize is that most women um, love languages touch. It's not all of them anyway. Some people don't like touch. Like you're touching her, she's like, guy, what's up? I don't like it. Don't touch me, you know? Or you touch her in a certain place, she's irritated or something. Some don't like it. But most women, trust me, they like the body touch. They like it when you're holding her and it's not because you want to have sex, right? Maybe see now every time where you want the action, now you go come near. Eh? It will make her feel like you're using her for sex or maybe she's just a sex object. Or maybe that is why she's just there. And it does not matter for how long you've been married. I know you'd be like, maybe my wife, why would she be thinking like that? Someone I've been married to 15 years, 20 years. Women are women, regardless of the age. It doesn't matter if she's 90 years or if she's 18 years. Just understand this and you have your peace of mind. And that takes me to the next point. Please, when you're in action, don't take that call. How many minutes can you finish? And then you can return the call you know because this thing will just completely destroy the whole thing the stage that you have set and when you come back it's like you're starting afresh again so you know all those times that you'll be in the real heat of it and your phone is just boozing away let it just ring how many minutes you finish and you go call the person back you know don't kill the vibe don't kill the mood coming up next the last but not the least of course cuddle afterwards 
I don't know, there's something about men that just makes you sleep off after the whole action. I understand scientifically there's a reason for that, but try and cuddle. It doesn't have to be like full hugging and everything, but that small touch also would help the woman to feel loved, to feel like she's part of your life and she's really has not been used. Because like I said, it doesn't matter for how long you've been married. There's a way we think. You just cuddle and hold her close and in the process you can fall asleep. It makes a whole lot of difference. Maybe so you could just do finish and you just turn your back and that's it. You just sleep off. Sex in marriage is very, very important. I understand some people are so spiritual. You think that these things are almost a sin. It don't be sin, brother. No be sin. Now God do it. And he actually made it for us to enjoy it. Otherwise, why would he put these organs in our body if he doesn't want us to make use of it and enjoy it, of course, in marriage, right? So it's not a sin, my brother. I know so you're spiritual. You pray. You fast. Sometimes, no go mountain, eh? Because sex in marriage is very important. It doesn't matter how much you pray, how much you fast, how much you do counseling. If you don't, sex just losing up the whole thing. Picture a scenario where you're having issues with your wife and then you settle your matter. You know that knocking after settling your quarry. You know the vibe now. You know the way they see it. Eh? The whole thing is just, the whole environment is eased and everybody is feeling relaxed and there is no tension. So sex is very, very important. Please, no go allow too much spirit. Coco, can they make you for your activity for the other room, can they slack? No, now, bro. So you have to be firing on all bumpers. You're spiritual, you're doing this one, and everything has to be balanced. All right? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, my name is Wendy Zill. And if you like this video, please don't forget to drop a like, subscribe if you have not done so yet, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.